Since the huge shakeup in the White House on Tuesday when President Donald Trump finally pulled the long overdue plug on FBI Director James Comey's job, tensions have been high. While millions of Americans applauded our president for his assertive move, liberals were furious, despite Trump finally making good on their previous demand to fire Comey. Had it been Obama who did it, there would be no recourse, however, nothing Trump does goes without a negative response from the incensed left as he was reminded of when he woke to a disturbing discovery right outside his door. Corruption in the administration is something that liberals cannot live without and when Trump cleans house, they take it as an invitation to stoop to ever-increasing new lows. How easily and conveniently they forget that just a few months ago the left was calling for Comey's termination, but now that they got it, they flipped the script on Trump. Chaos has since ensued and now the White House is on high alert for good reason. Our president was first attacked on social media by liberals from their safe spaces who had something to say, including loud-mouthed celebrity windbag Whoopi Goldberg. While this is the common immediate response, it was just the start of worse to come as was soon realized with what showed up on White House doorstep. Less than 24 hours after Trump made one of the best decisions in his presidency to date, Swarms of angry and aggressive anti-Trump protesters took it to the streets directly in front of the White House. They were there to spread their hate for our president who answered their call for Comey's firing a few months earlier but wanted to cause a riot about it now. However, it didn't end there nor did it end well. These protesters know no bounds and as the size of the pack grew, so did the fury. Their aggressive nature became a threat to our president's life since all it would take is a split second for one of them to do something even more stupid than they already were. Secret Service kept them at bay the best they could as the ranting got louder and more out of control. The crowd is mostly forming because Americans want to protest the firing of FBI Director James Comey, who was helming the investigation into Trump's possible Russian ties. The protesters, like many others, are demanding a special prosecutor be assigned. Mediate reported. It's an interesting new opinion considering that in November, Democrats were wanting Comey fired for doing things that hurt Democrats, of course. When he closed the case on Hillary Clinton right before the election, he was in their good graces again, but it was only a matter of time before he did something else that crossed their party line. Many blame Comey for Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton's losing the election. Comey famously released a letter to Congress just before the November 8 election indicating that he was reopening an investigation into how Clinton handled classified emails, LifeSet reported. The demonstration formed outside the White House on Tuesday was referred to as an emergency rally by MoveOn.org on Twitter, where they begged for more degenerates to show up, many seemed to answer the call. Crowd rallying at the White House for hashtag Comey firing and chanting Yates. Big turnout despite being planned a few hours ago hashtag resist, one Twitter user proudly posted on social media. White House crowd now chanting rule of law and another protester tweeted from the scene. Some of the same people who wanted Comey fired a few months ago and protested for that were now screaming for a special prosecutor to investigate Trump who gave them what they wanted. True to liberal form, they made no sense and only wanted to be outraged at something it seems. Liberals are grossly misguided in what they want, or say they want, going the way of resistance solely for the sake rebuking our commander-in-chief on every decision and move he makes. They are willing to switch their stance on any given matter the second they receive the battle cry to do so, for which they mindlessly and blindly follow. Perhaps our president could use a reverse psychology tactic on them since they are so programmed and predictable with these antics. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.